Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Paul Leo Jr. And today I'm going to show you how to make uh, the biggest power bank uh, for your cell phone. <laughs> Which is basically a 6 volt battery that is used in a lot of uh, children's uh, toy cars. So, and I'll show you the one that I took it out of. And don't worry, it wasn't being used... <laughs> didn't take it from any child so it was actually this guy down here or this girl down here now this wasn't being used and obviously there was a rechargeable battery in here underneath this seat so of course I had to take it out <laughs> and what I was left with was this this is now a power bank <laughs> For my phone I can fully charge this and um, and charge this phone multiple times over <laughs> and for absolutely nothing for finding it so now what we want to do is make sure we have our uh, get our cables ready so what I, I actually used um, a pair of wire strippers if you don't have those scissors will actually work perfectly fine so you can use either the um, the actual cable itself the, the USB to whatever connector you're using to the phone or you can use one that is directly connected into um, that goes directly into the wall and you can't detach it at, at all so when you take the part, this USB part, when you take this off, um, there's going to be a couple, dip, there's going to be other wires inside of that, other insulated wires, and you're going to want to look for the red and the black wires. Those are the ones that, um, that actually do the charging. The other, disregard any other colors, because those are the ones that are capable of transferring data. And those will not help us charge the phone itself. So once you find your red and black wire, you're going to want to strip them down. <clears throat> so you, like, like I said, if you don't have wire cutters, you can do them uh, with a pair of scissors where you're just um, literally just getting the, that little piece of insulation and, you know, pulling it off like very has to be snug don't do it don't do it too hard because they're kind of delicate so but once you have a decent amount of room here get this glare off the, the phone then you're pretty much left with this here so now what I did because mine was actually mine was directly um, attached so it wasn't like this loose cable over here it wasn't like this one so it was an actual plug to the wall um, and what I did first is I didn't test my cell phone first <laughs> I tested something else and this was actually I actually tested this little uh, air purifier that had a micro USB and it worked perfectly so after that then I did it on the phone because I just wanted to make sure so it is um, the output um, from a USB is typically between like 5 to 9 volts I think absolute max so this is only 6 but it has a lot more juice in it like as far as the actual uh, power is concerned so we look at like the voltage as the current but the actual power coming from it is a lot more so that's why this is a killer um, what you call power bank now. So, and you want to make sure you obviously hook up the colors appropriately. If you do it the other way and you plug it into the phone or whatever else it is, um, the phone could possibly turn off. Um, you could possibly mess up um, something inside of the phone or whatever it is. That's why you want to test something stupid that you don't really use. So, but it typically won't mess it up. It would probably it would probably just shut it off. It would just be like, okay, this is too much power, and just shut off um, whatever it was. So this is my red wire, 
and you don't have to worry about getting electrocuted or anything like that. This is not, um, it's, it's good for the phone, but it's not going to hurt you at all. So this is my red on the red terminal, and then this is my black wire. So I might get my positive, and I have my negative. And so I could do uh, one of two things. So I could either, to keep this on permanently, I could push these terminals down all the way, and then I would suggest getting a piece of electrical tape to put over each side. So just to make sure it's held in place. And then from there, we go to our charge. So right now it says not charging. Oop, it says not charging 34%. And I'm going to plug her in like this. And now we have the camera's too low. <laughs> and now our phone is charging from our humongous um, power bank. <laughs> so even if you just had this sitting um, in the cup holder in your car, which you obviously wouldn't use in the car, but it would fit in that <laughs> if you wanted to give somebody else a charge uh, to their phone, <laughs> you could just do this. So like I said, I'll put a piece of electrical tape over this, piece over each terminal, and that's it. And you'll watch this thing charge fast as hell. So um, I turned it off and I charged this phone, I think, in maybe 20 minutes, something like that. So, um, yeah, that's really it. It's really that simple. So uh, you really just need a pair of scissors <laughs> and the actual battery itself. I actually, I'll actually put a link to the battery if you want to do this little DIY hookup um, because it's so much better than all the... Uh, power banks that are available out there it may not be flashy and all that but at least you did it yourself and um, and it's 100% safe now um, as far as recharging this recharging this battery number one you could put it back in the actual uh, car that it was in and charge it that way um, and then you can actually use any um, any kind of uh, like car charger. So here's one I'll show you real quick. In my I'm in my new little setup here. Let me grab it. So this is uh, I showed this in my previous video, but this is a shoemaker. Um, battery charger and it has two options here uh, it's on 6 volt but you can switch it to 12 obviously we would want to leave it at 6 so you could actually use this something like this or even something solar panel to um, to clip on obviously match the colors positive or positive and negative or negative onto the battery I would definitely recommend something solar or like I said, if you still have the car, you can you can charge it like that, which is a cool option, and use it that way. So, but uh, yeah, that's really it. So, the phone's still charging, everything is good, and yeah, we're all already up a couple. Uh, uh, we're already up like three percent. So typically, it would say, typically my phone around. This has 37%, but typically at that point, it would say like two hours remaining. Whereas right now, it says one hour and 24 minutes remaining. So that's just to show you, at least in my experience, that this thing kicks ass. And if the phone is off, obviously it'll charge even faster. So um, hope you guys enjoyed. This was my little multimeter, but... Uh, if you want to check one, check this out and test the uh, test the voltage of the uh, of the battery as well. Okay, now we're not charging, and that's it. Very simple. So I hope this uh, 
hope this helped you help somebody out so uh, and that's all so it's not a very um, everyday thing to do but hey if you have time and you like this kind of stuff you know hopefully it works out for you so thank you very eh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one probably with um, something to do with batteries and electricity hopefully hopefully solar panels next time so all right see you guys in the next one later